we have few items here this is a solenoid it's a copper wire wound on a pvc pipe and it's empty there's nothing inside it then i've taken two 1.5 volt batteries and one compass needle okay these are the connecting wires i mean there is no other source of uh, current this this i will connect this battery i'll connect this will give current so uh, th this being the current uh, emf source there will be current in this solenoid and whenever you know that whenever there is a current in wire uh, there will be magnetic field around it and that this compass needle itself is a magnet so what will happen because of the two magnetic field there will be deflection it will show some deflection uh, so that um, let's let's see whether this happens or not okay so let me connect it to this crocodile clip here i have and you see no you see there is a deflection okay a lot of deflection is seen now what will happen if i if, what happens if i put a um, steel i have a, another material this is a magnetic material steel i could not find iron so i'm using steel and insert this steel inside this solenoid okay and now i'll repeat the same thing and i'll try to check what happens to the deflection okay now we'll see again what happens to deflection and you see, just a minute let me do proper connection yeah you see this time deflection is more okay deflection is more than previous slightly more this time so that uh, we will discuss why it, why it is more this time uh, as compared to earlier also i want to show you what happens if we reverse the polarity okay so if i reverse the polarity i make it this way then what happens to the deflection right now we saw that there was a deflection towards the right side now you see deflection is towards the left side so when i change the polarity my deflection in the um, compass needle reversed and i again i'm putting these uh, spoons inside it and again i'll check polarity uh, with the same reverse polarity deflection is on the see let me have a proper fixed connection because of see there is deflection and this time there is more deflection when we put a ferromagnetic material okay uh, steel is considered a magnetic material if i take iron it will be better because iron is a ferromagnetic material so we will discuss it